bad in the world thank y'all for coming back to the scene with your boy rebel because your boy rebel is definitely back on the scene yo let me go ahead and stop pause rewind do what i gotta do i want to thank everybody that watched my video thank y'all for supporting the channel man thank y'all for supporting the community channel for the gaming community i thank y'all so much i reached 40 subscribers this morning i'm proud of that you know just a month ago i had two subscribers which was my brother and uh, my sister actually subscribed was second one so i thank everybody for subscribing i do understand that some people will not like my content i might get the thumbs down it happens you know my boy corey kenshin shout out corey kenshin the samurai himself you know this man dropped a wonderful uh spooky scary sunday for halloween and he had like a whole like a thousand one point thousand dislikes but the man he's doing his thing yo like i, I respect that so shout out to everybody that's on YouTube that's putting out content regardless if it's Halloween, horror, video games, comedy, seriousness, news, own news channel. Yo, mass support to everybody that's doing. I want to give a shout out to my boy, uh, Mutated Humanoid Thing. Yo, bro, nice live stream yesterday, man. I appreciate playing with you, bro. I definitely appreciate that. Yo, Brooklyn's on. Brooklyn's on. Yo, let me, let me clear this up real quick. I thought you was a guy. I promise you I thought you was a guy and I'm honorably and terribly sorry <laughs> if I if I offended you in any way but I know I was sending bro and man and bro I was sending all kind of messages to you so shout out Brooklyn Zone yo you are a gamer I appreciate the commitment you know I appreciate the anybody I don't care what you are unicorn y'all know how I am about unicorns a alien a giraffe a zebra you know whatever case may be B I definitely appreciate playing with all y'all. Y'all guys is like my, y'all like my PSN friends because I can't see y'all in person. I don't know where you at, but I definitely, I definitely appreciate the love. Look at me, I'm getting all emotional. I definitely appreciate the love, man, playing with y'all. So Brooklyn Zone, yo Black Widow. Of course, I know you a Black Widow, man. So guess what I did today? Without further ado, y'all know how it's about to go down. Today we bring y'all the brand new build. This is the brand new build video. And the name of this build is called Project Alice. Yes, I dropped a hint in my preview video, um, exclusive uh, build preview video. Um, the little hint, I throw little hints in there, so y'all make sure y'all pay attention to those. It let you know what the build's like. But this is the Project Alice build, aka the heavyweight widow build. Shout out to my boy Millennium. He actually helped me come up with that name. But bro, I gotta throw Project Alice in there because this is a bad outfit, like. This outfit is bad. Look at this outfit, bro. Like, this looks like some Resident Evil, you know, what Alice would have wear, man. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? Miss Hill. Miss Maria Hill. What's going on? But, yeah, this is the Project Alice build, y'all. I'm, like I said, I'm working on a couple of series. I'm, I think I got two, three more to go. Um, and I'm dropping them. So, I'm dropping, dropping these build videos. I'm actually going to get, ra I'm actually getting raid ready. That's why I'm dropping these videos in the first place. I'm testing them out to see what I'm going to take into the raid. I have to have some type of effect from Wakanda, which is by Brandy or Sonic, on either character. And if y'all have been noticing, on every build that I've had, I've had a damage buff for each one of them. And I see the benefit. Shout out to my boy FKF. Shout out to Lejeune. Shout out to Doom. Shout out to Sadat. Shout out to Versatile Plays. Shout out to um, uh, 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 Tricks. You know, shout out to... Uh, uh, it's, it's a whole bunch man if i hit your comments up and i reply back you know what it is man mad love to all y'all this is off the top of my head because i literally just watched doom's live stream yesterday i was on his live stream doing my thing and then i did a live stream with your boy uh mutant humanoid thing aka kahar so and then uh he i played with uh sean shout out to sean too shout out to you bro shout out to everybody that i played with Y'all know my community, uh, my community gamers. You know Zoro, Millennium, uh, Super Comic Guru, uh, 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 Relic. Where you at, Relic? DJ, aka Dr. Relic. Where you at, bro? Uh, you know the whole fam. But anyway, back to the matter at hand. I know y'all tired of me talking about that, but hey, this is my video. It's my channel. I like to give out love where love is due. But since you're on the scene with your boy Rebel, we're gonna go ahead and get to the scene. So this is my Project Alice build, y'all. This is. Basically, I tried to, I, and I'm be honest with you, I literally play, I did like eight, ten videos, you know, tried to pre-record some action videos, and when I tell you, I struggled, I literally struggled to get a good rhythm 
with Black Panther and it was annoying to know that I played with this character. I had great videos. I looked at my own old videos and was like, I was doing some good work, good dodging, good skills. But it seems like I just lost that swag. Like, I understand what gamers say. You play with a character so long, you stop playing with them, or you don't play with them enough. You just like, what? what hold on, what? I just like with Black Panther. Like, I was smashing it. Y'all check out that Black Panther build, man. I appreciate the support and love on that. You know, go ahead and just destroy that like button. You know what I'm saying? Demolish the sub button. I appreciate that. Let me know that you guys are watching. You want to see more content. And even if you don't, that means that the views is going. Y'all seeing what's going on. I'm here to educate and learn because practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes better. But this is the Project Alice Bill. So let's go ahead and get off into it. Let me go surround my round table like a real umbrella corporation. But this, this is the AIM corporation we're fighting against. So, you know, it is what it is. Let me go ahead and get into it. All right. So. I changed the nameplate. Yep, I went with uh, Black Widow. What's this? One zero one zero three one. Look at me. Can't spell, read, or write. I tell you. Uh, I just bought this piece too. Don't know why. I might do a might build, so I'll lock it in. But we're gonna go over the gear pieces. Heavyweight Inspiration gloves. It has might and proficiency. As I always say. Anybody that's doing a character, whether it's a flying character, a melee character, a power character, doesn't matter. You build the build how you want to. That's basically how it goes. You want to make sure that whatever you want to focus on, y'all know my rule, first, second, third, first place, second place, third place. If you want might, you're going to focus more on might. Each piece will have might in it. If not, you'll go to your ISOs and do double might. You know, it could have triple might stats, double might might. I think currently my Black Panther is the highest might I have on here with Kamala being second and they're really neck and neck because she's a powerhouse when she goes in big and so she might actually be stronger. I have might and proficiency and that, that proficiency that just adds to my perks and my critical chances actually activating. That's what you want. Going into the raid, make sure you have some good proficiency on your characters because from what I've seen, you know, the live stream Sadat did and uh, the live stream uh, videos and everything like that that Doom did in Lejeune, yo, this raid is going to be crazy, y'all. So um, I might drop uh, a little, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, my opinion, one-on-one -on, -one on how to prepare for the raid. But as of right now, Project Alice is in full effect, so let's get to it. The Heavyweight Inspiration, 11% chance heavy combo finishers will grant a willpower boost. The heavy combo finishers inflict sonic damage and the Apex Breaker, which is 10 0.6% increased damage from signature attacks. So I did switch this up. I have Vibranium on her weapons, her guns. I switched it up. Um, and I'll show you why I switched it up. So the Vibranium does work good. Uh, it has good stats on it. Proficiency, intensity, and precision. It, this is a range. Uh, it says right here in the top left-hand corner. Range gear. This is great for any range build you're doing with anybody. This is wonderful. Um, as you can see, most of the pieces I have in this category are range and proficiency with this being the exception of valor it has a jarvis berry on it uh, the question was asked in one of the um dooms live stream yesterday was where do i get jarvis berries from I, I have to correct my own stuff i make mistakes i'm human i'm a gamer so i'm a game on but i'm also learning apparently you can get it in certain sections of the game uh cosmic uh missions you know certain signature missions you can get jarvis barriers so that's a correction on my part and as you see hive mind rounds you can get them in the hive mind the mega hive or the mega level threat i am running the proficient empowerment rounds with intensity proficiency and precision proficient empowerment this is an intrinsic boost for range attacks 23.8 percent plasma acp range attacks with full auto shots deal plasma damage and I have a damage buff. 9.3% chance to feed enemies and their weak points grants a damage buff. So most definitely, like I say, I'm putting damage buffs, trying to put damage buffs on all my characters because like I say, I see the difference and you know, hopefully they keep it going. I definitely see the difference in damage and how to activate them. Like I say, I'm not a noob to this game. I'm far from a noob. I don't play with some great people, great guys. But I am a noob when it comes to learning and mastering a craft with a certain character and how to use gear. So make sure you take the time, hit the harm room up, you know, shoot, even go back to the tutorial just to learn basic moves. It's always crazy how the basics make a big difference in learning how to do complex moves and techniques. As you can see, I did switch up this one. Like I say, it's a it's a it's a switched up build. Uh, this one right here took away 23% of my might. 
but it did have the lightning potentiate on there 30 percent increased status damage from shadow ops attacks which was great like i should have kept it on there but and it had a jarvis barrier so i mean that's two jarvis barrier that's a lot but on this one it's another damage buff like i said i'm switching it up i gotta test it out i've tested this out like i say 10 videos so it has might and resolve on it have to have some health like i said i want to have some some might because she's gonna be throwing some hands especially with the uh batons that she has 27.4 percent chance uh perfect dodge grants a short damage buff so hey and she likes to dodge and i can i can dodge with her when i'm pressing the buttons right not acting crazy and my remote's fully charged the courageous spark which is 29.7 percent chance when critically injured to grant a heroic charge burst for all heroics so even with my abilities and my skills already activated you know that i have i'm gonna show that later um it doesn't hurt to have a charge going and i have fire resistance from plasma attacks so since i have a plasma piece i wasn't trying to actually go for this but you know it it, it fell on the perk so i'm not really sweating and it's a three star piece to have 64 might and 61 resolve so it's not bad anything three star and down i normally get rid of but i kept this one it was in my inventory so something in my head was working and i still haven't switched up the red room coil can we just admire the fact that black widow's legs are anyway we have the specter's terror which is valor precision and resolve that's just the gear perk but that's the right hand category and um it's a valor piece this is heroic gear so it does have valor on it like i say it's it's it reflects on your hero stats when you i'm gonna put them up on the screen stealth blitz 15 percent increased damage when invisible is active invisibility is active i'm sorry and once again i had defeat three enemies in rapid session grants a damage buff so one two three damage buffs so like i say i'm hey i'm playing with her i'm going through the motions i'm trying to figure it out but yo she's bad she nasty i thought she was nasty before she about to be project alice nasty man like for real for real all right, we're going to put the stats up on the board. Here are your hero stats for my Black Widow build, a.k.a. Project Alice, a.k.a. Heavyweight Widow. Might's at 125. Precision's at 148. Proficiency is 107. That's great. So that's 24.3% chance critical attack, critical chance, and perk chance at 30.3%. Valor's at 211. My resolve is at 164. So I got some health. I took a member I took away my resilience, but my health is up there, so that's good. In intensity because she does do takedowns. My charge rate, well intensity is at 50. Charge rate is at 12.3%. Assault heroic rate is at 12.3%. And my support heroic rate is at 20.1%. So these are the stats I have. It's semi-balanced. I didn't focus more on precision. I didn't focus more on might. They're kind of in the same category because the perks that I have when activated is going to boost all those stats up. If you ever pause your menu at the right time with damage buff on, you'll see what I mean by your stats actually going up. Trust me. It, it And it's, it can be 8 seconds, 7 seconds, you know, whatever the case may be. I do have a double Valor stat, yellow ISO 8, which is 11.9 increased damage from light combo finishers. I'm throwing some hands. I have a shock uh, damage uh, reduction as well, so I have plasma and shock. And I have a Cosmic Infused ISO 8. For those who don't know, this ISO, when you're doing attacks or you're shooting, whatever the case may be with your character, you get like you, hey, you get some cosmic damage you get to inflict on them. And it recharges you up. Or payload. It actually sends out a payload. So I'm actually looking forward to this actually working. It has Resolve, Valor, and Precision on it. So I have more health, I have more Valor, and it adds to my Precision. Because she does have weapons. And as you can see, the Precision is a little bit higher because she's, basically from what i'm looking at on my perspective of it i could be wrong hit me up in the comments and let me know she's basically made to be a ranged character but she can be a balanced character because she throws them hands so we're gonna go to the skills real quick y'all go over overview man how y'all doing if you still hanging around man i appreciate it thank you for watching thank you for tuning in for this build it's a special video i put a lot of work into it you know a lot of plan a lot of up after getting home from work 12 hour shifts so i'm definitely committed to the cause man i just want to say thank y'all mad love mad love thanks for thousand everybody that's supporting the channel i just can't believe man 40 subs it seemed like not a lot to y'all but it's a lot to me especially when my kids is like dad how many subs you got today i and I'm, I'm not faking it y'all i'm keeping it 100 this is mad love for real i definitely appreciate it i have the shadow gifts equipped also have the vicious obscurum I think I got that right this time. The taser dart, definitely have to have that. 
I had two day two taser darts with a lethal bite holding additional with those bite charge extra charges appear in small circles near the assault heroic ability ability meter shout out to all my Xbox players PC players and PlayStation players five and four y'all want to appreciate y'all if y'all stopping by and watching get your ideas get your note get your notebook get your pen I know I do the same thing when I go looking for you know build videos getting information I watch the whole thing can't help it that's me I'm just glad you guys are tuning in if you are I appreciate the love I have the uh, Gallo Gallo okay Galvanic bite Galvanic bite I, I think I got the second one right. We're going to stick with it. Increases damage of Widow's Bite while Power Surge is active by 20%. That helps out a lot. A whole bunch. I didn't go over my major artifact. I have the Tacticon because she has a lot of status. Uh, a lot of people go with the um, North Stone and Wheel when they have damage buffs. I'm going to test it out. This is just a breakdown. You can switch it up. But I have the Tacticon equipped. And I'm going to just rock with it for now. I have the power grid, which is extend the duration of power surge by 4%. The longer it's on, the more damage I get to do. Also have the overcharge range, increases range, attack damage while overcharged by 10%. Let me look what else I have. That's critical and increases. See, that's range attacks by 10% and increases all damage while overcharged by 5 Now, what seems better? Hmm. Well, she's focused on precision, so I'm going to leave it at that. Intrinsic charge. All attacks increase the charge rate of the intrinsic shadow ops meter by 15%. We also have the increase of the delay by 1% before intrinsic shadow ops energy begins to deplete when not attacking enemies. This is the efficient overcharge. Also have the cluster grenades. Now, you have uh, different versions of cluster. cluster oh, I say cluster. I am crying. <laughs> uh, cluster grenades. Uh, I chose this one. I think this is like splash damage. It spreads. Then you have the 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 weighted charge explosion, and then you have the uh, extended uh, kind of like fireworks. Um, I have the uh, termite grenades, which is basically plasma. You can choose between plasma, cryo, and shock. I chose plasma. It burns. Plasma is a positive. It's a burning effect. After a certain amount of time, it explodes and it spreads to other enemies as well. Extended magazines increases the magazine size of all pistol variants, decreasing reload frequency. Wait a minute, what? Reduces recoil shot. Man, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm learning something new. Wait a minute. Do I want more shots or reload? Man, bump that. I want more shots. I just noticed that. Learn something new every day. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Invisibility stun. Oh, I have this equipped. Invisible status increases all status damage while invisible by 20%. So I have a perk that does, I think, 30%, I believe. Let me let me check. I don't want to be wrong. Um, Where is it? Where is it? No, it's 15% increased damage. So that's good. So 15 plus 20 is 35 so yes I like it I like it was it 20 yeah I can count extended visibility extended visibility granted from veil of shadows by two seconds the longer it's on plus you know if as long as I do takedowns while I'm in invisible uh, while I have that activated I it stays on longer I can stay invisible for a long time increases critical attack damage while invisible by 15% what else I have on here? Increase the critical chance and then increase the critical ten. Okay, so I, I chose the right one. We have heroic takedown mastery. I get my orbs back when doing takedowns, which is wonderful. So I can keep on using my abilities. I uh, increase range attack damage by 10%. Increase stun and increase. Okay, I chose the right one, which this name was. Okay, yeah, there's no name. And melee charge, light heavy combo boost energy for all heroic meters, increases critical damage while juggling enemies in the air, and increases damage from light. We're gonna go with that one. Yeah, light heavy combo boost energy of all. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go with this one. I wanna, I wanna do some more damage. Yeah, Project Alice. That's why I say Project Alice, man. You gotta, you gotta play with the build. But this is the build, y'all. Like, and I, like I say, this is the costume. It's the operative costume. Operative. 
<laughs> umbrella <laughs> you see the connection okay stop making fun of me it's cool but once again y'all want to thank y'all man this is the official project alice bill gameplay is coming out you know y'all y'all know how i do i'll drop the video right afterwards but this is definitely the project alice build i have aka the heavyweight widow i want to give thanks to everybody man hope y'all loved on your loved ones gave me a hug gave me a kiss told me you cared about them whatever the case may be i just hope you did hope you got some food up in your system me myself i'm gonna grab me a bowl of cereal that's what i do i like my cereal my raisin brand i'm an old school cereal person all that fruity pebble stuff just makes me hungry five seconds later i can't do it anyway thank y'all for being on the scene with your boy rebel but your boy rebel is now officially off the scene y'all have a good one and as i say game on gamers and 